I've always loved the Bible stories read in the Advent and Christmas seasons. But the story of the angel Gabriel and his visit to Mary in Galilee speaks to me in a special way. The angel comes and he tells Mary that she will be with child. And she asks him in verse 34, how will this be since I am a virgin? In verse 35, Gabriel responds saying, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Now we shouldn't miss what the angel is really saying here to Mary. Just as the Spirit of God dwelt in the Garden of Eden and in the tabernacle and then in the temple of King David, Gabriel is telling Mary, God is gonna come and he's gonna make his dwelling place in you and this has been his plan all along. So in verse 38, Mary responds saying, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. This is Mary's great fiat from the Latin meaning, let it be done to me, as you God say that it should be. But what God was saying to Mary was hard. Though you are a young virgin, Mary, you will be with child. Mary might have, perhaps she should have seen this as something like a prison sentence, like a lifetime of shame and poverty. But what Mary heard from Gabriel was not judgment. Instead, she heard divine favor. She received this word from God as a gift. So if we skip down to verse 46, we see Mary burst into a song of praise, singing, My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked on the humble estate of his servant. For behold, from now on all generations will call me blessed. And with this we come to understand why Mary is not only the mother of Jesus, God in the flesh, but also a kind of model Christian. You see, we should all be like Mary, saying, let it be to me according to your word. Because from the beginning of creation, God's plan has always been to give us the greatest gift imaginable, himself. God's plan has been to dwell in and among us. Mary was the first to be offered this gift, and she was the first to say yes. Let it be done to me, God, according to your word. But Mary was not the last, and this is the deep and the joyful meaning of Christmas. God is coming among us, just as he did with Mary. This has been his plan all along. The question is, how will we respond? My prayer, on behalf of the whole community here at Trinity School for Ministry, is that you will hear the angel's proclamation, see the gift, and receive Jesus with a grateful heart. May we all receive the gift of God given to us in Christ Jesus during this season of hope and joy. Merry Christmas.